When it comes to tropical systems, it's the wind speed that determines how a storm is rated or categorized. Tropical storm force winds are on the lower end, but still need to be taken seriously. They have sustained winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour with gusts even up to 80. That's enough to knock anything around your yard, anything that's not tied down, and cause a good amount of flooding depending on how slowly the storm is moving. Once you get to 74 miles per hour, we're dealing with a category one hurricane like Hannah that hit Corpus Christi in July of 2020. Now at this point, homes can start to see damage to the roof with loose shingles starting to fly off. But for the most part, the damage is minimal. But this can also take down small trees and branches, which could bring down power lines, causing widespread outages. Now at 96 miles per hour, we're dealing with a category two storm, just like Sally that hit Alabama back in 2020. When the wind gets this intense, more objects start to get thrown around, bigger trees are coming down, and even more branches are getting tossed down the street, and projectiles are getting tossed right through your windows. Now you might see some of your vinyl siding even start to peel away. And if the wind is able to get inside of your home, it can start to rip parts of your roof off. Now, once we get to 111 miles per hour, we're dealing with a major category three hurricane. Think back to Zeta hitting Louisiana a couple of years ago. This is strong enough to cause extensive damage and mobile homes are gonna have a really tough time surviving this. And when the wind is strong enough to actually blow your door in wide open, that's when you can get wind starting to lift up your roof at weak points. At 130 miles per hour, that marks a category four hurricane. This was Harvey hitting Rockport near Corpus Christi in 2017. The wind alone from this storm can smash windows, causing extensive damage inside with most shingles and even part of your roof getting blown away. Most trees and power lines are getting knocked down with power outages everywhere. And that could cause a serious issue for access in and out for emergency crews with road closures due to all of that debris. And finally, once a storm hits sustained winds of 157 miles per hour, we're talking about a catastrophic category five hurricane. And this is the highest rank a storm can get. Remember how Hurricane Dorian just devastated the Bahamas in 2019? If your home has no roof, the walls can collapse at this point, flattening your home and leaving an area uninhabitable for weeks or months. Now, of course, this is just the damage from wind to your home and the power lines. The rain and flooding can also wash away roads and bridges like we saw here in Houston during Harvey. Now, to put things into perspective, the most destructive winds are typically at the center of the storm, around the eye, which is a very small part of the hurricane. However, because these storms are so large, those damaging winds can stretch out for miles in all directions, and depending on how slowly the storm is moving, can produce punishing winds for hours.